ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew and welcome to New Cities. Now, you guys may recall that I had posted a video uh, roughly three weeks ago about a stream VOD on a city. Now, this is not of the same stream VOD. This is definitely not because this is going to be an entirely new... I'll call it a let's play for now because uh, in terms of what has come to the game since that video... The game has actually been updated to include a new generation function. So let me go and show you guys that real quick. If I go into the menu here, you can go into a new city. It will ask you to, if you want to save. And then it will ask you what you want a part of your save and how big you want it to be. It can be as small as 10 chunks or as large as 125 chunks. Um, and then you have a few different styles. Of course, you can go and add trees, hills, waters. Uh, you can have a few desert sections, okay? That or it's a desert type. I haven't really played around with that. And then you also have super flat where the entire terrain is pretty much flat. And then you have SimCity 2000 style, which that's what we are playing with right now. Okay, so this is going to be kind of interesting. So if you ever have played New Cities, which I'm doubtful that you have because this is only available... Uh, in a closed alpha right now. Only two people that have supported the game with $15 or more in the Indiegogo campaign um, has received access to it. Um, but if you want to go and get access to it, then you can go down in the link in the description where you can find the Indiegogo campaign. And it is currently still running. It is running as a um, off goal one. So their original goal was for like $10,000. In fact, I'll have something show up on screen right now. Their original goal for like $10,000 and they have changed it over to be where it's a continuous fund. So you guys can help support the game in its development even though its campaign goal has been reached. So what are we going to be doing here in this Let's Play? Well, first of all, I want to go and get started by getting a new city created. So. Right here, this is the farthest you can zoom out on this map. This is a 100 tile or 100 chunks by 100 chunks map. And we can zoom in quite considerably. If I start to zoom in here, you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this. You can zoom in as far as to just see one little tree and then zoom all the way out to see everything in the game. And mind you, this game runs between 20 and 60 FPS on average. So granted, some computers will run a bit slower, some computers will run a bit faster. My computer specs can be found in the description if you want to take a look at that. Um, but my computer is kind of like a mid-built gaming computer, so it should be able to run this game perfectly fine. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with actually building up the actual uh, city that we're going to be having here. Now I think I want to have it nearby this little bay area. Or maybe over in, hmm, maybe have it start near this Valencia? No. I think definitely have it in this stretch of land over here to start. And we'll expand out in a different direction from there. So what I want to start with is I want to go and press 2 and go and get a avenue created. So avenues, I want to kind of have them a little bit away from the uh, roads or from the actual um uh, water terrain. I, I was trying to find the right word right there. Words are hard. Anyway, and we can go and try and bring this down like so. It does this, uh, most, as much flattening as it can possibly do. It just doesn't does do a lot. Um, but you want to go and make sure that you are paying attention to how much you are doing. Now, um, let me go ahead and get a couple of different roads planned out here. So, Let's go ahead and do something along this lines, shall we? Now I want to go and start off by getting about a couple different road layouts created. Not necessarily completed, but just created. And um, we can hopefully go off from there. And preferably, I would definitely want um, to get a bit of work done to go and make sure that this is made as simply as possible. Now if you watch the stream VOD that I posted a couple weeks back, you will note that the type of towns that I make 
are going to be very rural based as in there's not going to be a lot of zoning on the main roads the only thing that's really going to be on the main roads though is commercial so i'm not going to really focusing on uh commercial at the start here but i will eventually move on from that um so let's just go and get a couple different roads laid out and we can go and do something like this and then i want to go ahead get you coming down there and just do the same thing going all the way down here and it looks like i can go ahead and create the, these roads pretty simply you guys can kind of see that pattern right there we're going to be kind of duplicating this a little bit um just so that way we aren't having the same exact thing but for right now this is going to be the optimal strategy that we'll go off of so let's go and bring that to there bring that to there and so on and so forth bring you straight across and we can go and start off by building this up now i will show you guys something that i would say is kind of like the unoptimal strategy so let's say you go and build out your roads and i'm going to build it over here because i'm going to end up deleting it let's go ahead and say you build up your roads like this to be a one chunk by one chunk okay then you go and get your roads put in place like so and this would be considered the new uh, new style or not really new style but more so the newbie t uh, style if you're new to the game this is a style you're most likely going to go with this i would have to say is number one style you don't want to start with uh, the reason i say this is because the game is primarily based off of being a traffic simulator not necessarily being a um city builder which is kind of perplexing to a lot of people but it kind of just makes sense to me so in order to go ahead and diminish the amount of traffic you're going to have you want to limit the amount of intersections you're going to have as well so have more intersections being your neighborhood area like this and have less intersections be on your main roads so that's what you primarily want to focus on there in fact i will have that be a road that cuts through right there and these two will not so that hopefully gives you guys an idea of what you want to go ahead and prioritize on, making sure that your main roads are clear of intersections of between the different junctions. And if you do want to have an intersection done like that, all I'd recommend is keep an eye on that intersection every once in a while, because sometimes that will clog up. So let's go and delete that real quick because I don't really want that there. And let's go and get some zoning started. Now, one thing I will say is that the zoning mechanic in this game is quite fun, to say the least. So you, you have a total of a five different brushes here. You got the brush that go ahead and allow you to click on one side of one road. You got a small paintbrush that is uh, relatively easy for you to go ahead and utilize. Nothing crazy. You got a medium-sized paintbrush, a large paintbrush, which is pretty big, and then you have a individual placement where you can go individual to what you want at that spot primarily I go off of the um, I don't know which one this is but it's just the row placement where it's the default and because it is actually the most optimal one to go and start off with your game because you're gonna get end up getting the most value out of it um, and let's just go ahead and get a couple of these houses zoned out. Nothing crazy, but we will go ahead and do the best we can. So that's going to start us off with residential. And then I'm going to get some commercial added on over here. Let that run for a little bit. Run on two times speed. And we'll go ahead and get some houses and some commercial built up. The commercial is going to build up faster than the housing. But unfortunately, it's going to have these help wanted signs, which you guys can kind of see if I go ahead and do... Uh, not that, um, let me get to that. No, I'm trying to remember which one it is. Okay. So I think, okay, we want to actually go into this. So this is where you'll see a lot of these. So issues are going to be something you'll keep in mind about. Uh, so if it has like a little worker icon with a suitcase, it, that means that they're unemployed, meaning that it's talking about the residents. Um, help wanted signs means that that 
property needs workers. Most like mostly commercial and industrial buildings will have this, not necessarily anything else. Uh, and then this one right here, where I think that's uh, just a little bit of a uh, like. I can't really describe what that looks like, but that symbol right there that I'm pointing at, it says can't reach retail, meaning that uh, you can, the housing area cannot reach a retail site. Um, and then this one where it's pretty much a money symbol saying that it needs customers. Uh, this one right here, uh, which is just a uh, cargo truck, I'd say, it just says needs freight. And this one will be common for industrial areas. So you kind of want to take a look at it in that perspective. So we'll look into that a little bit more in a later point. So if we go back into residential demand, uh, we are going to have a lot of residential demand that we need to go and fulfill. So let's go and get a little bit more zoning going on here. Um, and one thing I do want to mention is that this game does feature a type of autosave function. I haven't really messed around with it too much, but the type of autosave function that it performs uh, kind of just lags out the game a little bit more than what it should. Now, granted, this is also coming from me being a City Skylines player where autosaves will go and lag out the entire game no matter what. But that's regardless of the matter where we go and go ahead and sit there and say, eh, it's not that big of a deal. But in a, this case, it kind of is a bit of a deal. And I just want to go and bring that up. But let's just go ahead and get these finished zoning. I'm going to zone this area over here as well just to hopefully get a little bit more attention. And uh, one thing I will mention is that this series has also, or not this series, but I have also been streaming new cities on my Twitch streams. If you want to take a look at that, go to www.twitch.tv forward slash Leo Gaming or take a look in the description where you can find the link. Um, and I do a lot of those streams primarily on Mondays and Wednesdays, which I think that there will be a new cities stream tomorrow afternoon. Um, and I'll most likely post this on Twitter in case you are wondering. Uh, tomorrow afternoon at around like, uh, give or take, 7 p.m. So, well, tomorrow evening more like it. Because 7 p.m. is not really an afternoon time. Anyway, words. Let's go ahead and finish zoning that. That pretty much zones out the entirety of what we have available. Now we also need to focus on industrial. Industrial is kind of a uh, weird mechanic. Back in a couple different versions ago, industrial only really grew when there was a density area found in nearby. So in order for me to go ahead and show you guys, I would need to have a little bit of density going on. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of copy the design we have for the uh, housing area. Uh, and let's just go ahead and do something like this. Boom and a boom and a boom. And if I go ahead and zone this all as industrial, you can kind of tell that they're not going to build up right away. Or at least not yet. It's because of the fact that you need to have a density of, I think, at least like three in this area. Three being like the amount of um, commercial and residential areas that are nearby. Now this right here, I would consider it to be a residential area of one, just because it's not really that much. And it's only gonna really grow basic uh, housing and such. So you don't really wanna focus on residential um, or tier one or uh, tier whatever it is. I, I kinda remember, what, I kinda forgot what I was calling it. Anyway, um, what we can do though, is if I go and get rid of these roads, Okay, these little cul-de-sacs. I can go ahead and zone agriculture. Agriculture is a little bit of a unique one. You're going to be most likely utilizing the agriculture one more than any by far. And I'll go and show you that here in just a moment. And let's just go ahead and get this zoned up. So you can already see how quickly it's zoning the agricultural area. So you can kind of understand why I say that you're going to be utilizing the agricultural a bit more. Agricultural has two downsides to it. One, it takes up more space, and two, it has less people that are going to work at that spot. 
So you want to pri uh, primarily want to have agricultural away from your city center. So that way you have a lot more space in order to utilize for it. But we're only having a little bit of agricultural in this area just to go and satisfy the demand that we'll have for workplaces. Now you can already see that the help wanted uh, icons are already popping up. That's just an indication that yes, these buildings are functioning, but they need just people. So we'll work on that as the time goes by. Okay. And then I want to go and get you going right there and get you right there. Perfect. And I'll also bring you to right there just, just because. Um, let's go and get that all zoned out, I guess. And go ahead and just dezone that section because we don't want it zoned. And dezone that or zone that. And I think we should be good. We are also going to need to expand our residential area here a little bit. And um, this is going to be kind of how we're going to have to start this uh, series off. Very simplistic, I know, but it's honestly the best way you can go and start the game. Um, in my opinion, that is. You don't have to take my opinion for it because I've only been playing the game for about like maybe 30 hours worth. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and do whatever you like in this game. I just highly recommend do not do um, the whole design about the whole, um, let me go and show you again. What I showed you guys earlier, this whole design right here, having a one chunk area, and then having these rows right here that go like this. Yeah, you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. You guys have seen this already. Yeah, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't. If you do... I'm going to come to your house and breathe down your face the entire night. That actually sounds very creepy. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's actually finish zoning this area out. And then, uh, yeah, I think we should be good. In fact, I'm going to go and utilize one of our brushes. So that way we can go and get this zoned a bit faster. Now, you can tell that an area is zoned correctly once when you go and hear the sound. You guys can kind of hear it in the recording. Um, but it is very minimal, is what I'll say. Let's go ahead and get rid of those two. And get rid of all those. I think that should be okay. Okay, so that is that all said and done. And I think if we really want to, we could zone this area over here as residential. To be honest, um, let me go ahead and just zone it like this. No, let's go and do the actual lane zone. And there we go. Okay. And that's the lane zoning that we can do right there. And I think that we should be okay with that. I don't actually want to have zoning at that spot right there. Good. So that will go ahead and build up on its own. Uh, right now, we don't really have that much of a demand for residential, so that will be kind of like a slow growth right there. But I think that will have to do it for this episode. If you guys have liked this one, please do go and consider giving a like rating. And if you are feeling more complicated than a thumbs up or a thumbs down, then please leave it over in the comment section. And let me know if you guys want to have this series be a long going series where I go ahead and do it for a couple couple weeks worth and then maybe take a break or just let me know anything else you guys want to see from this series and consider subscribing. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day everyone.